guys, welcome back again to the channel. We still go, mommy, you quite a UJ TV. So, here I came in here with another video for you guys. You know, when I've been talking about Africans, black Africans, a lot of people do not really understand. The, li the last live session I went, someone came in. This person is a white person from North Carolina, and in the live section, he called me. This first thing he said was, Hi, slave. When I saw that, I was thinking he was joking, and I corrected him. He said, yes, I'm a slave. I like why did you say I am slave and he said because I am black so I asked him okay being black now makes me a slave he said yes because all blacks are slaves and all blacks do not have running waters in their country that all blacks still live in a wretched apartment one person even asked me that do black people eat human flesh and thank God some of my some of my subscribers were on the live section and they responded to him but I want us to take a look at this video then after taking a look at this video, I'll come back and react. And I also have about two videos I want us to take a look at. Then I'll react all together about this video. As long as we are concerned, Africa is one. I, 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 I am not a Ghanaian. I am not a Zambian. I am not a Zimbabwean. I'm not a, I do not recognize a Ghana. I do not recognize a Zambia. I do not I recognize Africa. Yes. One Africa, one, one passport. One passport, one, one citizenship, currency. one currency, one military command, one central bank of issue, one communication system, one people, one destiny. That is the Africa that we want. And we are here not to beg for it. We are declaring it as of rights. And it is ours to do so. Nobody has the right to sit in Berlin and declare Africa divided. Since we met you people 500 years ago, look at us. We've given everything. You are still taking. It's true. I mean, where will the whole Western world be without, be without Africa? Our cocoa, our timber, our gold, our diamonds, our platinum, our whatever. Everything you are is us. I am not saying it, it's a fact. And and in, in return for all of this, what have we got? Nothing. Someone told me East African people, specific Kenya, they have mental issue of loving white people. They see white people as God. Why is it that this thing is only happening in East Africa? Why are you so embarrassed to the black race? I made a video some months back about uh, the Agbodrafo slave house. I visited the Agbodrafo slave house in Togo and went as far as visiting the Agbodrafo slave house in Togo, a border between Togo and Benin Republic. So I visited there and I saw a lot of things that was done to the blacks so at that time, how they were sold as slaves. So when I see the comments of that young man from North Carolina, he called me a slave and he said, because I am black, all blacks are a slave. And he asked a lot of questions that triggered me, but I wouldn't feel bad because we blacks most times are still slaves to the white because we still feel entitled to that or we still need opinions from the white people before we can be able to do things. That is the reason why Kwame Nkrumah was fighting for Pan-Africanism. The Africans should come together, Africans should, you know, do things together. The only thing separating us as Africans, you know, is just our borders. Apart from the borders, we are all one. We are all black skin. We are all Africans. And when Kwame Nkrumah was talking about all Africans should come together, and that is the reason why ECOWAS was created. And some countries have left ECOWAS due to because they do not want to be associated with some certain kind of people. They do not want to be controlled by the white people because ECOWAS is supposed to be like an African uh, country's community. All African presidents are meant to be there talk about the things that affect Africans and know how to go about it. You know, the first video I shared with you guys, the man was agitating for one Africa, one passport, one central bank, one border, in fact, everything, one currency. Now, all African countries should have one currency. But if you come to Nigeria right now, they have Naira, and Nigerian still, still make use of dollars. If you come to uh, Benin Republic, they use Sefa. And once you uh, check where Sefa is used, Sefa is used in France. When you go to Ghana, Ghana uses CDs and they still make use of dollars. 
and you go to some other African countries, they see they have the Kenyan shilling, you know, they have a lot of currencies, and you ask, why are Africans dividing? Why are they in division? Why are they scattering everywhere? You go to countries like South Africa, you see South Africans agitating for all other Africans to leave their country. There's a video I shared some weeks ago about a South African man sharing the Ghanaian flag, which is so wrong. Sharing the Ghanaian flags, forgetting that we are Africans. You know, the wise people here are still exploiting from us every day. They still want more from us because they know Africans, we are rich. We have a lot of resources here in Africa. That is the reason why the wise people do not want to leave Africa. They still want to stay in this country. They don't want to leave because they know that, oh, Africans, most Africans, they are gullible. Most people are corrupt. Most are selfish. Most of our African leaders, they still want to be in a position forever. They still want to do things and remain in one position forever. You go to some African countries, their president has stayed there for more than 50, 50 years, 30 years, governing a particular country. Why? Because of greed. Greed would not allow that. Greed would not allow African countries to go forward. That is the reason why the wise people still see us blacks as being gullible. The wise people still uses us as their slave. Because for this young man to come to my life section and call me a slave, he now he has that mindset that all blacks are slaves. That is the reason why whenever you see a black person, he refers to them as slave because he believes that they are actually slaves. When you give a black man money, they become your slave. When you give a black man a huge amount of money to do things for you, once it involves money, they do virtually anything you want. So once it involves money, they will literally do anything you want them to do. You know, that is the reason why they'll say, oh, once you want to get a black man, give him money, give him money, give him political powers, give him a political position, whereby you can be able to control him. And that is what the white people are saying in all black people. And that is the reason why they're using that as an advantage to still extort us. A white person will come to a country and say, oh, this country is blessed with crudes. They are blessed with gold. They will come in and bring in something that will make you give them back the gold. And as Africans, we've seen what they are giving to us and we'll give them back what we have, our resources. And they are still using it today. See, without Africans, you know, the whites cannot survive. Without Africans, the whites cannot survive. If you go to some European countries, see a lot of Africans there. They are going to school, they are paying tuition fee. Huge amount of money that Europeans cannot pay. They cannot afford to pay it. But as Africans, we are paying those money. I don't know when blacks will stand up and say, okay, we want to be independent. You know, we want to stand on our own. We don't want anybody to go and interfere in our privacy. That is the reason why this country left left, uh, left ECOWAS because he believes that Ibrahim Tore left the ECOWAS. He doesn't want Burkina Faso to still be under the influence of the white people because he said the person that is the president of ECOWAS is still collecting information, is still collecting like uh, an authority advice from the white people and he doesn't want to be associated with the white people that is the reason why Burkina Faso left ECOWAS and decided to stay on their own independently I don't know when Africans will rise up and say okay we want to do our things independently we don't want to involve the white people because most times they call us slaves they extort a lot from us and we still remain in abject poverty I don't know what you guys have to say about this video because what made me make this video was about the young man that came to my life section and was calling me his slave and he said, uh, we blacks, we don't have a water, we don't have running water in our, in our place, that we eat human flesh, that we still live in the village, we don't have clothing, that he believes that I'm in the Western world, that I'm in abroad, that is the reason why I can be able to speak English. You know, he said a lot of things and I said, wow, this is how these people have seen us. So I decided to make this video here for those of you that are just coming into my church. If you're a white person, you are just seeing this video, just know these Africans are intelligent. Africans are not gullible. Africans are wise. Africans are, in fact, we are well educated. We have a lot of medical doctors across the world. Goes from Nigeria, Ghana, African countries, all over everywhere. You will see them paving ways, making names for themselves. So this video is for you all that are still in darkness, thinking Africans are not wise, thinking thinking Africans are not intelligent, thinking we, we eat human flesh. How do you?
he expects human we should eat our human flesh that is the narrative that has been given to those people and they think africans are like this now fish we are not like this africans are intelligent but the narrative has been given to the whites that oh africans are gullible africans are unintelligent when you give an african man uh, an african man money they will literally become your slave that is their mindset and they have been using it, using it against most africans not all africans can stand that and not all africans would want to be used by white men please give this video a like subscribe and share this video turn the post notification to get notified whenever i post amazing content see you guys in my next video bye until the next one